In this tutorial, we are going to be focusing on the phosphate group. When we say the phosphate group, this is simply a chemical compound consisting of phosphorus atom bonded to four oxygen atoms. And here what we have on the screen is what we call the phosphate group molecular formula, which is PO43 minus. The three minus which I have here indicate the phosphate group has negative charge of negative three. These charges come from the loss of three hydrogen from the phosphate group leaving a negatively charged. To draw the structure of the phosphate group, which is PO4, 3 minus, and here we said the 3 minus which simply indicate the loss of 3 hydrogen. In this case, let's first of all consider the 3 minus. The phosphate here, remember we have the 4 oxygen. This is simply going to be P, that's phosphorus saturated by 3 hydrogen. But remember, it's supposed to be 4. Let's call this one to be the first, second, and the third one. And here should be the fourth one. In this case, I'm going to have our first oxygen, second oxygen, third, o third oxygen. But the first one is simply going to be 4, saturated by this. Since we have loss of, since we have the loss of 3 hydrogen, here, let's assume it's minus, minus, because minus because the three oxygen are single bonded to the phosphorus that is one two and three they're single bonded to the phosphorus atoms while the fourth one is double bonded to the ox oxygen atoms and sometimes it can attract hydrogen since this one is negative it can attract hydrogen hydrogen and hydrogen Therefore, the typical structure of the PO4, 3 minus, is simply going to be P or, 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 that is for oxygen, oxygen. And this is it. But if you like, you can just draw it using the 3D plane. Remember, we have the PO4, 3 minus. In this case, phosphorus is also in the middle saturated with four high four oxygen in this case here is what we call the wedge, wedge line and this is what we call the solid line at the end of this video i'm going to drop a description which explain more about the wedges dashes and the that is the solid wedges and the dashes line this is what we call the solid line this is the wedge line and this is the dash line in this case, in the case of the wedge line, here we have one oxygen, the solid line we have one, and the dashes line we have one. The only thing we are left with is simply going to be the oxygen at the top. You can also find the phosphate group in biological molecule, such as the DNA, which is dibroxynitric acid, and we have the RNA, RNA and the last one we have the ATP. Those are the ones which I can remember which stands for adenosine transferred. In this case, it plays a crucial cellular process such as the energy transfer and signal transduction. transduction. When we say transduction, this simply means conversion. Transduction. In this tutorial,